Alright YouTube, this is Buster's weekly video. Uh, as you can see I've shaved my head. Hairdressers on the open so I've had to shave it. It was bad, it was like sticking up like that. So last week I said I was gonna do a video on the Aria Pro IGBS PT, but I happened to get this. This came up uh, on Facebook Marketplace. Had to get one. I've always wanted a an OLP. Uh, so OLP Music Man copy. The OLP stands for Official Licensed Product. That's what OLP stands for. So back in the day when Music Man didn't have a like their Squire range, you couldn't you couldn't buy you couldn't buy out a cheap uh, Music Man copy. So they licensed it out to a company in China. They did, they did quite a few, they did uh, Music Man's, uh, so they did the bass and they did the guitar. They also did a PRS, OLP as well, and a few others, before the company realised that they, they could make decent money if they had their own, kind of cheaper range, same as Squire. So they stopped making these in 2009, <coughs> uh, I'm only going to be what I've read on the internet about them. 2009, Music Man decided to brand their own ones, and they're pretty good guitars. I mean, the, uh, the sub range is the cheapest of them all, so they range from about 300 to 500 quid. Uh, 300 500 dollars, I think. Uh, then you get the Stellan by Music Man, which is the next range up, and they go for like 500 to 1000 pounds, depending on the model. And then you're, you're talking thousands of pounds for the actual Music Man. So this this was before Music Man did this. A company in China decided to do the, the official licensed product. That's what OLP stands for, as I said. So but this is based, this one's based off the original Music Man from the 70s, not the new range. The body shape's slightly different, uh, slightly wider as well. So this is more of a 70s music man. So I could copy that. Pickups are quite cool. Uh, I've got another copy, a vintage copy. And I, I'm going to look at the wiring because this is different. A lot of people think that it's a two volume and a master tone, but it's not. But it is it's a master volume and two tone. So the humbucker split into two, so you've got a tone for this side of the pickup and a tone for that side of the pickup, so you can blend the pickup up so it's not two volume, and that's the way the, the original Music Man was. Because uh, I've seen some other videos where they were saying that it's two volume, it's not. Because the, the, the humbucker split into two. But it's, I've looked in here, it's not, I've actually opened this up, it's not, it's quite weird wiring, it's definitely a lot different from my other Music Man copy. Which I don't know what I'm going to do right now, because now I've got this. So, this is a three piece body. Uh, but it looks, it looks like it's one piece of maple, but it's solid maple body. Here my, my locking, my, my locking buttons uh, squeaking. Uh, two piece maple neck. Uh, black inlays, it's got the OLP on it, and then you can see the back, it's obviously upside down because I wrote it on, but it's licensed by Music Man. Uh, so this was well before they did the sub version, the stolen version and stuff like that, I said I've always wanted one of these, and I'd rather have one of these than have a sub or a stolen because these these were made before, and they're made to a really good standard. Uh, Unbelievable how good these are. Humbuckers are amazing at it as well. So I'll let you hear that. Normally when I play the music man, my other vintage, it's usually uh, Rage Against the Machine and stuff like that. So I'll do a wee bit of that today. So I'm playing through my BH250, through my 4x12, uh, no effects on it whatsoever, I've turned the tone print off. So I've turned the tone all the way off. Volume all the way up, so two tones for two. <coughs>
we're turning the tone up on the front part of the tone up on the front part of the humbucker. So that's going to go all the way up, but the back's going to go all the way off. for one as soon as it came up. I had a chance of a five string one. Uh, I'm not a five string player. I've got a five string that I barely use. But I like to have one just in case. But as soon as the four string came up in this colour. I've got a, a picture on my Facebook where I've got quite a few natural colour bases. And they all kind of match. Looks kind of cool on the picture. So this is tuned. Drop D at the top. Uh, for doing uh, red stuff. So... Turn this tone down a wee bit, tones a wee bit here. So why is doing that? Piece maple neck, um, maple body, three. Uh, I think it's four piece, four piece. I think I said three piece or three piece. It is. I thought it was four piece, three piece. Maple body, black scratch plate, standard uh, music man bridge. It says it's two tone volume. Uh, uh, lovely bass, definitely. This would be my stopgap before I bought, actually bought a proper music man. So, I, I don't know, I, I kind of like, I like the subs and I like the sterlings, but I, I really wanted one of these and if I was going to a stop gap between buying a proper music man, I've definitely, I, I got this through, so until I can afford a proper music man, this is going to do me. So what I'll show you now is I'll show you, uh, compared to my other music man copy. So, these are two music man copies, and the only difference is, is the headstock. As you can see, the headstock is very similar. But it's not got the bird beak on it. <coughs> I mean, this is definitely a, a nice bass. There's no doubt about it, it sounds nice. Uh, but obviously, that was my stopgap between getting getting this. So there you go, that's a an OLP music man copy. If you can get I mean, these are these are becoming rare now, these uh, they're hard to get. Uh, very heavy, heavy compared to that other one. So there you go, another uh, Leo Fender design. Uh, when he left Fender, he went to Music Man and designed this. So my next bass that I want, <coughs> a Leo Fender design bass, is a GNL, uh, like a GNL One Thousand series. Maple, obviously, I want the maple one or the natural body. That's what I'm looking out for next. That me have the full set uh, of Leo Fender design bases. So there you go. Hope you like the video. It's only a wee short one today, but that's an OLP original licensed product base. 
Uh, I need to look into my amp, see why it was farting. But uh, there you go. Well, hope you enjoy your week. Uh, I'll definitely, unless I buy another guitar, which I said I wasn't going to buy another one until I've seen this. Unless I buy another guitar, next week I'll definitely do the Aria Pro. Uh, I'll get a bit more information on that. <clears throat> it's, it's a signature CD based on Aria Pro, but I can't remember who it is. I found it and I can't remember who it is, so I'll find out information. I'll do a video on that next week. So, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you get a chance to one of these, definitely pick them up. I prefer this over, I've played a, a sub and a sterling, and I prefer this over that. It's, it's, this one's, as I say, it's more like the original 70s one. So, look after yourselves, and uh, carry on.